It has been over a month now since Arunachal mountaineer duo Tapi Mara and Nico Dao went missing in the state East Kaming district. Still no positive signs which could lead to their whereabouts have been detected despite relentless search and rescue operations. Reportedly, Camp 2 area has been witnessing minor fresh avalanches especially near a rock wall since Saturday. The coupled with adverse weather, rain and foggy conditions have made search operation impossible at the rock wall. Due to the harsh weather conditions, the rescue team returned to Camp 1 on Monday. Meanwhile, the team will assess uh, the ground situation for further search operations. It needs to be mentioned here that Tapi Mara and Nico Dao are missing since August 17. So big star we are tracking this morning viewers and it has been over a month now since Arunachal Pantaneer Duo Tapi Mara and Niki, uh, Nik, Niku Dao went uh, missing in the state's East Kaming district. Well, there's still no positive signs which could lead to their whereabouts have been detected despite relentless search and rescue operations. Reportedly, Camp 2 area has been witnessing minor fresh avalanches, especially near a rock wall since Saturday. This coupled with adverse weather, rain and foggy conditions have made search operation impossible at the rock wall. Due to the harsh weather conditions, the rescue team returned to Camp 1 on Monday. Meanwhile, the team will assess the ground situation for further search operations. Well, it needs to be mentioned here that Atapi Mara and Nico Dao are missing since August 17. All right, to more on this, we are being joined over phone line with our correspondent Ripun Jaita. So, Ripun Jaita, very good morning to you. Well, it has been over a month now since Arunachal Mountaineer duo Tapi Mara and Niko Dao went missing. So, give us more information. Is the search and rescue operation still underway? Yes, Priya, the search and rescue has been continuing because uh, the administration and the army, they have jointly they made it very clear that until and unless they get any telltale signs or any clue about the missing mountaineers, uh, whatever the conditions are, they will continue with the such operation. Now, Priya, the latest worry has become these uh, reports of fresh avalanches in that area. Earlier also, we had reports that the avalanches were there reported in that uh, Camp 1 and Camp 2 area. So that is the major focal point of search. Camp 2 is the major uh, area where uh, the search is located. But now these uh, adverse weather conditions are once again creating problems for the rescue uh, team and the search parties. Uh, but they are still on the job and uh, their search is still continuing, Priya. Also, uh, and as per reports, the team is to search, assess to the ground, uh, you know, they will search today. So at what time will that take place? Uh, Priya, it will take place depending upon the weather condition because that rock wall uh, which they had named uh, in the press statement also, that is another challenge uh, in that particular, these are particular uh, technical terms being used by the mountaineers whenever they go for such expedition. So uh, that, uh, uh, we, we, we have learned from the administration and uh, their sources that uh, this has become now the major channel to negotiate through the avalanche, uh, fresh avalanche areas and continue with the search. And Priya, one more thing, a couple of days, one of the local mountaineers we, we have this report that three local mountaineers have been inducted by the cheetah helicopters of the army to the base camp so that they can guide the uh, search teams. One of the mountaineers have complained of uh, chest pain and uh, breathing issues, but uh, he was immediately evacuated from that area. Uh, but now we have support that his condition is okay. Uh, so these kind of challenges are there. Uh, but despite this, as I said, that the search team, the army and the administration, people from the administration, they are continuing with the search operation.